Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are on page 151, and this video is going to cover lesson four, lesson five, and lesson six. So we're going to be doing all of those lessons together, just like we've done in our last video. Okay, um, so our goal or our objective today is today I will understand that positive and negative numbers are used together to describe quantities, which is amounts, and I'm going to go down here like I had to on the last one because it's such a long one. So quantities having opposite directions or values. Okay, so just like in our last video, the most important part of this is we're going to be talking about positive and negative numbers, which are what we call rational numbers, and we're going to be talking about the opposite values of those numbers. Okay, so in our last one, we talked about elevation compared to sea level and temperature compared to zero degrees. Today we're going to be doing something similar, but we're going to be talking about credit and debits. Okay, credit and debits could be in a bank account, so it could be like credit and debits with money. Um, it could be about like points or game credits. It could be like phone card minutes. Anything that gains or is subtracted would be considered a credit or debit. And then we're also going to be talking about electric charges when we talk about atoms. So you might have seen those in science class. Okay, so um, I'm gonna get started, and my first one I'm gonna get started with is credits and debits. And usually when I think of credits and debits, I think of money. Okay, so here is my first problem. And it says, a bank account was credited $100. If the balance was $50 before the credit, draw a visual model to represent this expression. Okay, so what I see is a visual model, probably a good visual model, and I'm sorry, stuff's blowing away. A visual, a good visual model would maybe be like a bar graph. So I could maybe try and draw a bar graph. And it looks like my intervals are at 50, so I could have zero, 50, 100, 150, 200. Um, and then I could say what my like original balance was. So I started with 50. This was my, my balance at the beginning. It said I had 50 to begin with. Okay, and then it said it was credited 100. So credited 100 means a rational number of positive 100. So to this, they added 100. So 50 plus 100, they added 100. So my new balance would be up there. So my new balance would be 150 because it was 50 and then they credited, which means they added 100 to it. So this is with the original 50, which was a positive, and then they added the 100. So it says, explain the new balance relationship to zero. Well, it's a positive 150. And then it says, explain how to get to a zero balance. Well, if I have positive $150 in my bank account and to get to zero, I would have to subtract 150. I would have to take all of it away to get to a zero. Okay, let's look at our next one. I used 30 megabytes of my prepaid data plan. Okay, if I use something, 
that is a negative. So that would be a negative 30. They don't say I want to need to draw a model here, so I'll just leave it as a negative 30. Then it says, how would the rational number change if 30 megabytes were added to my plan instead of subtracted? Well, that would have been a positive 30 megabytes to my plan instead of a negative. Okay, so we're gonna try some of these together, some of these positive and negative credits. So we are on page 156, so 156. And here's our first problem. It says, Joey's arcade game was debited 83 points. A debit is a negative, it's a takeaway. So that would be a negative 83. How would the rational number change if 83 points were credited to Joey's arcade game instead of debited? Well, a credit is a positive 83. So that would be a positive 83. Okay, let's look at number two. Sheila was debited 30 minutes of her computer time because she didn't do her chores. If she is allowed a half hour of computer time every day, draw a visual model to represent this expression. Okay, so we can maybe draw like another bar graph and we could draw it in 30 minute intervals because that's what they're talking about. So this is, so it says she's allowed a half hour. So that's like her allowance of time. So she's allowed 30 minutes of time but then she was debited. Debited is a take away. So they actually took away the 30 minutes, which means, what did she have left? Well, if they took this away, she would have nothing left. So if she had 30, but they took away her 30, she would have nothing left because that's all she had. So explain how the new amount of computer time relates to zero. It is equal to zero. She has nothing left because she lost all that she had. Okay, so that is some credits and debits. We're also gonna look at some positive and negatives in regards to atoms. So here's my first one. It says, what is the overall charge of a group of five protons and no electrons. Okay, so if you look back, I did not go over your vocabulary with you, but it's listed here, and it talks about that a proton is positive and an um, electron is negative. So I'm going to use this to help me, and if you need to go back to this, you're welcome to as well. So what is the overall charge of a group with five protons and no electrons. Well, if it has five positives and it has no negatives, then it's going to be positive, and it's actually gonna be positive five. Okay, is this a positive or a negative ion? It's a positive ion. And it says complete the visual model to support your answer. Well, my protons go in the nucleus, so I would have five positives there, and my electrons go here, but there are none. So this is what it would look like. How would the rational number change if instead there were no protons and five electrons? Well, if there was no, no protons which are positive and five electrons which are negative, it would be a negative five because these are negative and those are positive. Okay, let's look at another one. What is the overall charge of a group with six electrons, electrons are negative, and no protons which are positive? Well, it would be negative six. Is this a positive or negative ion? It would be a negative. And it says complete the visual model to support it. So there's no protons. Protons go in the nucleus, but there's six electrons which are negative. So one, 
two, three, four, five, and six. So that would be a negative, a negatively charged atom. Okay, we're gonna try some of these together and we are on page 164. If you can turn to page 164 with me. Okay, so our first one says, what is the overall charge of a group with four protons, so four positives and four negatives? Oh, this one's tricky. So if you have four positives, but you have four negatives, you actually end up with nothing. So what electric charge does this group have? We call this neutral. We call it neutral when there's no charge. And the reason is, is I have four protons here, but then I have four negatives. So they kind of cancel each other out. Each proton cancels out the, or the um, electron, and then it just becomes what we call neutral. Okay, let's look at our next one together. What is the overall charge of a group with two protons, which are positive, and zero electrons? Well, if it has two positives and zero negatives, it's going to be plus two. So what electric charge does it have? It would be positive. And what grouping would have the opposite electric charge? So how could I get the opposite electric charge? How could I have had a negative two? Well, to get a negative two, I would have needed two electrons because those are negative and zero protons. If we had this, we would have had a negative two instead of a positive two. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, you have quite a few pages to try on your own. Have a great day.